Their complexion is white, their eyes are blue, and their hair is blonde. They are, nonetheless, fully African in origin. Many of these people live in one African country. Of course, I'm referring to the albino people, and Tanzania has the biggest concentration of these gorgeous, intriguing people. Albinism is a genetic condition where the skin lacks melanin pigment. This results in very pale skin, eyes, and hair. People with albinism also have varying degrees of visual impairment. As a result, many albinos are legally blind and extremely light sensitive. Albinism affects people of all ethnic backgrounds. Its frequency worldwide is estimated to be approximately 1 in 17,000. The prevalence of the different forms of albinism varies considerably by population and is highest overall in people of sub-Saharan African descent. While albinism affects one in every 15,000 people in most African subregions, it affects one in every 1,400 Tanzanians. A mutation of the albino gene OCA2, which produces the melanin pigment responsible for tanning the skin, is carried, if not exhibited, by one in every 19 Tanzanians. Albinism is more common in East Africa because rural tribes have a more isolated genetic pool and because the society is less mobile. Albinos are socially alienated and stigmatized. They are often called derogatory terms like ghosts and white goats, says Fundikila Wazambi of the Legal and Human Rights Center in Tanzania. Stigmatization means that they aren't able to fully participate in socioeconomic activities or access essential social services and that their freedom of movement is limited. They are blamed for natural disasters like famine, drought, or locust invasions by those who believe that albinos are cursed. That deep internal struggle felt by many with albinism often goes unnoticed by others. Because they often don't look like the people within their racial group, the question is, where they fit? People with albinism in Tanzania have a price on their heads, whether dead or alive, adults or children. Albino trafficking isn't reported enough in Tanzania and other East and Southern African countries where their body parts are in high demand. In East Africa, the average person with albinism dies at the age of 30 from skin cancer, and only 2% of people with albinism live to the age of 40. This needs to change. Albinos are our brothers and sisters and deserve to live stigma-free with full support from society to live full, happy lives. It is my hope that this video will inspire this paradigm shift. Thank you for watching yet another eye-opening Afortista Films video, and I'll see you in the next one.